Hey guys, what's up? It's Tyler, and you're watching the TJ Space Channel. Today I am doing a um, an unboxing of the Fender Rumble 800 HD head. Um, I know this head isn't particularly popular at the minute. Um, it's quite recently uh, released. I think it was announced in March, and I got this through the guys at Landing Guitar Center. Um, I've already played it. I played it out at Anderson's and liked it a lot. Um, and so, yeah, I put in an order for it. Um, I really like the Fender tone, to be honest. Um, and I've been recently using the Fender Bassman um, guitar amp model, um, combined with the SVT model on my Helix. Um, and really liked it. And listening back to all the, um, the tube amp demos on Fender's YouTube channel, I've been really enjoying that too. So I think the Fender tone is, is pretty much um, where I am at at the minute and I'm gonna unbox this head and then give you a full tone demo and all the usual stuff that I do um, but I thought I'd let you in on what's going on and um, yeah join me for the journey so um, box is now open first thing we've got on that is the manual big paper manual it doesn't normally happen nowadays does it normally send you online um, and I honestly think this is great that Fender do this um, but it comes in a bag, and I know that sounds really stupid, um, but the very fact that you don't have to buy a bag for your head, um, just why doesn't everyone do it? They make you pay £50 extra for it. Um, I know Fender are a massive company, but I'm impressed. What else have we got in here? It comes, on, it comes with a speaker on cable. That's ridiculous. No one sells their amps with speaker cables. What? I am impressed and surprised. I did not know this was going to be in there. And um, you get a foot switch, which I knew you got, but that's just another thing that everyone else would make you pay extra for. Um, only downside is it comes with an EU plug. Um, not sure if that was a mistake, but I'll find out and get that sorted. And I mean, I have a million um, English plugs anyway, so it's not that much of a problem. But that's it for the bag. I'm still in a little bit in shock about the speak on cable, to be honest, because I've never had an amp manufacturer supply me with a speak on cable. Awesome! That's so good. Um, so yeah, not only is this an absolute bargain, the bag's cool. The bag's got a little, bag's got a little pocket in the back there. I imagine that would be awesome for your cables. You then also have a bag, uh, sorry, a pocket on the front that's got this chap in it so that you can um, attach it and make your, put your bag over your shoulder. This is a bargain. This is obviously one of the cheapest Class D heads I've ever used as well. Uh, 800 watts. Crazy. And there we go. There is the beastie itself. It's a little bit bigger than most. Well, I say that, it's it's not as deep as the Aguilar stuff, it's a tiny bit wider than most heads, but it's not as deep. I think it's the depth that really makes them quite difficult to use and carry around. Not use, but carry around is what I mean. There we go, look at it. Such a, a, a kitsch looking thing, I love it. Really, really cool. The most important thing about it for me was that the um, these three buttons right here, if you can see those. And um, when I was trying it out in the store, the vintage option, um, gives it that kind of low, mid, Ampeg, SVT bump, which is really good. Um, the contour button quickly takes you into that proper deep scoop slap territory. And the bright button, just that nice extended treble. Um, and those were really, really important to me because they allow me to really quickly get from one tone to another. Quite often at big shows I'm using my Helix, um, and I wanted this really for any shows that I really have to have an amp for. Um, because on those big stages, you don't really hear yourself from your amp anyway. I'm mostly hearing myself from the um, from the PA. So on the back, it will go down to two ohms, which some of the most expensive heads won't even do. So that's just crazy stuff. Um, I believe it runs in bridge mode. I think it's actually got two power amps in it rather than just the one. Um, that'll probably tell me actually. Doesn't. I'm pretty sure I read that that's the case. Um, you've got your aux in on the back um, for your MP3 player, whatever. 
phones in for your headphones um, and your sending returns and then the jack socket for your foot switch which they supply free with it that controls the overdrive sorry if i keep looking above the screen i've recently just changed to um, a sony um, camera and i'm not used to having the screen above it so i keep looking at it so sorry for the first half of the video i was doing that my condolences um but yeah that'll run four or eight ohms um, and then switch down to two the jacks, I believe, are combi jacks. Just gonna use a normal jack, let's check this out. Yep, yeah, they're combi jacks, so you can use your traditional speaker cable or a speak on. The one that they've supplied, I still can't get over this. Um, it's not it's not a huge one, it's really not a massive table, but the very fact that they actually supplied one has just made them well, what made the reason in my estimations even more. I feel a little bit ridiculous going back to a Fender amplifier, I've got to be honest, um, because I've had really fancy stuff, Ike stuff, Ashdown stuff, um, I've used Mark Bass, I've used TC Electronic, I've used, I think those are the main ones, um, and Norman's Terror Bass is my first ever head. Um, and Fender's just kind of staple, right? Nothing fancy, nothing you'd think of, but I'm really digging the tone of the Fender stuff. So that's your speaker cable. Not super long, but you don't need it to be super long, you just need it to point into your cab below. Ideal. So that's it, that's kind of the the, the whole package. Um, it's not as light as other amps that I've used, but it's solid and it's got a ton of power in it. I, I just love what this thing can do. Um, forgot to mention it's got an overdrive channel on the front, and I really like the Fender overdrive. I'm, like I say, I'm a bit, I feel silly that I've gone back to Fender stuff, but Fender seem to know what they're doing when it comes to my ears and bass amplification. Um, so you've just got to go with what works for you sometimes. Um, and what they do does work for me, so that's where I am. I think the thing about it is it's not too far from the Ashdown, sorry, the Ampeg sound that I really like with that kind of low mids, but it's got a little bit more extension um, down the bottom and it's got a little bit more um, clarity at the top um, and it's just not as it's not quite as midi as the Ampeg stuff it's a little less but um, it's very natural sounding really that's the thing it is I, to my ear it's natural if you looked at it on a, a graph it's probably not it's probably got a little bit of a, a bump in that quite low end um, and then just quite a, a little bit of bump up top but not that much um, and that's, that's really the sound I liked. I, I went into the store, I tried the Aguilar Tone Hammer 700, I tried the Galen Kruger, the um, Fusion 800, um, and they both were great heads, but I just kept trying to make them sound like this. And, and to me that said this was probably the right way to go. And it cost me way less. It's probably about half the price, well it's, it is half the price of the other two heads that I was comparing it to. So, I'm going to do you, oh, last thing, it's got a switchable voltage as well, which the Galen Kruger didn't, which was one of the reasons that I went for this. Another reason that I went for this. It'll automatically switch no matter where I am. So there, that is the Rumble HD, 800 HD, with its free bag, foot switch, speak on, and the cable. Um, and I know it's not free, but when every other company on the market doesn't offer those things, to me it is free, and I paid less for this. So let's see how it does, let's give it a listen, I will um, post a tone demo video of it really really soon. But for now, that was my unboxing of the Rumble HD 800XT, one day I'll learn the name. Um, and yep, like I say, video is coming, and check it out. Go and try one in the music store because I was really, really, really impressed with it. And I'm even more impressed now I've opened the box and seen the stuff that you get with it. If you like this video, hit the like button. If you want to see more Fender content, I'm doing lots of collaborative stuff with Langley Guitar Centre here in the UK. Um, so there's going to be loads of Fender stuff coming through. If you like Fender stuff, want more reviews, more demos, more unboxings, hit subscribe, hit the notifications button and I will see you guys soon.
Let me know in the comments what your experience has been with the Fender Rumble stuff um, and your favourite settings, particularly if you're an H 800HD user, um, I want to hear your favourite settings, but any of you guys using the Fender Rumble stuff, I'm considering maybe um, picking up uh, a Rumble combo or something for, for teaching and stuff like that. So um, yeah, let me know your experiences of that. I hope you've had an awesome day and I will see you guys soon.